viewers, hope you're doing well. Welcome to Elim TV, a station where you watch and learn. Today I'm taking th you through CRE Form 1, Lesson 15. I am your tutor, Sarah Amaida. Our to topic today is creation and the fall of humankind. Our subtopic is biblical and traditional conce concept of evil. We are going to look at the biblical and traditional African concept of evil. Welcome. So we start with the lesson objectives. By the end of the lesson, the learner should be able to briefly describe the similarities between evil and sin in traditional African communities and the Bible. They should be able to describe the similarities between evil and sin in traditional African communities and the Bible. We look at the similarities between traditional African and biblical concept of sin or Evil. We look at the similarities between the traditional African and biblical concept of evil or sin. So in both the biblical and traditional African belief, in both the biblical and traditional African view, agree that God is supreme. In both, they agree that God is supreme, that God is neither the, is neither the creator nor author of Evil. They believe that God is neither the creator nor author of evil. They also believe that sin comes from the disobedience of God by human beings. They believe that sin comes from the disobedience of God by human beings. In both, they say that evil and misfortune are God's curse to man. Both and both curse lead to misfortunes. They believe that evil and misfortune are God's curse to man. And both curses lead to misfortune. Again, we have, we have seen in our previous lesson that we all lead to misfortune. Like in, in the Bible, Adam and Eve were chased out of the garden. They were also cast. Pain became part of human being. Death came into being. And in traditional African society, we have seen most misfortune of evil, like barrenness, death, sickness, drought, such misfortune. Another similarity is that in both the result of sin and evil is human suffering. In both is that the result of sin and evil is human suffering. When evil or when human beings sin, their result is definitely suffering. They have to suffer as a result of their sin. And also we have, we can say that human beings have the ability to overcome evil. In both human beings have their, their ability to overcome evil. If they obey God, they have the ability to overcome evil. So we look at the differences between traditional African and biblical concept of evil or sin. We see the differences. So in biblical account, it emphasizes personal nature of sin. While in African concept, sin is more social and communal. In biblical, it's personal nature of sin. While in traditional African, sin is more social and communal. Another difference is that in biblical account, attributes evil to disobedience. While African concept attributes evil not only to disobedience but other external forces. In biblical, it's for the, it's disobedience. While in African. It's not only disobedience, but other external forces. In biblical account, it offers a message of hope to overcome evil. While African concept, it does not offer a solution to sin and evil. In biblical account, there is hope to overcome evil, but in traditional African, it does not offer a solution to sin and evil. In traditional African concept, all form of suffering is a result of sin, while in the Bible, suffering is not always as a result of sin. So in tradition, they believe that all form of suffering is a result of sin. Maybe you are mad, sickness, death, suffering. They believe it's a result of sin. But in the Bible, suffering is not always a result of sin. So we have looked at the similarities between the biblical and traditional African concept of sin or evil. And we have also looked at the differences between traditional African concept of evil and 
all seen. So that's the end of our lesson, but I have an activity for learners to answer the following question. Activity 1, give three differences between traditional African concept of evil and biblical concept of sin. Question 2, give three similarities between traditional African concept of evil and biblical concept of sin. On to our references, you can refer to Secondary Christian Religious Education Student Book 1, that is KLB 3rd edition. Thank you for joining us for this and more. You may contact us through our SMS number, which is on the screen. You can also find us on YouTube, Elimu TV, on Facebook at Elimu TV, and on Twitter at Elimu TV underscore KE. Till next time, bye bye.